Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, you know, every day when I decide to go live, I don't even have a topic. I just open my browser and usually either YouTube or Google because of what I do, uh, you know, suggest something to me. So a question came in my way and it's posted in Quora. Ecora, you know, it's a website where a public forum people can post questions and answers. So uh, a Muslim, he's or somebody, mostly I think it's a Muslim. It is. Is it possible to write a book like the Holy Quran for a human being? Uh, I don't know. Let us see if this is true or not. I mean, maybe it's not possible because you know. It's like saying, is it possible to be stupid like me? I mean, who can be stupid like Allah? The sun set in murky water, the sperm coming from the ribs, the Arabic grammar is miserable, the Arabic word is not there. Uh, he claimed that the Quran is an Arabic book, but yet it's a full of Persian, Aramaic, uh, uh, Hebrew, I mean, all kind of, yet it's claimed that it is an, an uh, pure Arabic. So is it possible really to write a book like the Quran? I will make a challenge to the Muslims to call me and to prove to me that it is impossible. I mean, why it's impossible? Is that because there is nobody can be stupid like Allah or Muhammad? You need to give me a reason or smart maybe? Is Allah really smart? So we will open our Skype and I will show you that no Muslim dare to call simply because all those conversations is very funny. Actually, the challenge is very funny. I mean, we have God, supposedly, who created the universe. He's asking us to do, can you write a book like this? <laughs> Zero miracles. And, and now he claimed that his miracle is writing a book. Well, can you write a book? Like my book? Or any of my books? Anyone can do that? Hmm? Any Muslim can write a book like my book. Any of my books. You cannot. Uh... But there is a huge difference between my book and the Quran. If we go and check Muslim website, you just type a literally challenge, bring something like it, Allah making a challenge. Quran challenge with all. Neither human nor all could uh, create a book like the Quran. All, what all mean? I mean, Muslims, they are. In Arabic, here is somebody writing the word jazz, which means, you know, the word jazz, it is not just uh, impossible. Uh, the word marjiza is miracle. Ajaz. It takes you two seconds to prove it. The Bintu is your God. As an example, if you are trying to prove to me that the God of Islam is Shaitan, Satan, that's very easy. Isn't it Allah is the best of an Makirin? Hmm? Who is the one who said, I cannot trust, or let us say, I cannot feel secure because of the deception of Allah. Who is the one who said that, Muslims? Any, any Muhammadan can, can tell me? Who is the one who said, I cannot trust and feel secure the deception of Allah, because of the deception of Allah? Any Muhammadan? No. 
No, güey. Anyone in the chat is a Muhammadan? Who is the one who said, I cannot trust Allah because of his deception? Any Muhammadan. You notice that the Muhammadan, they swarm people who do not know the Quran very well. They do not know. And the funny is they don't even speak the language and suddenly they became uh, expert in Hebrew and Aramaic. Uh, Mimi Hijab, he speaks Arabic, but he wanted to teach David Wood uh, Hebrew and Aramaic. And the conclusion is that Allah, he pray for, not to. And Elijah mean God is with us. So the Muhammadan, you know, you, you cannot find a person he have knowledge in his religion. They go, you know, fabricate answers like Muhammad in the Quran. Muhammad is in the name of Muhammad is in the Bible. You can't even find the name of Muhammad in any book of history. You cannot find one book written in Jerusalem have a book about Muhammad even after the 600 years after the Muslim occupation. They don't even describe him as Muslims. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? Zero. When you see the Muhammadan swarming people channels who have no idea what Islam is about, you know why they do it. Because simply they knew that there they have a chance to play with you or with your knowledge. Uh, thank you. What his name? All right, we have one of you is doing his. Uh, look like he is doing his work. You know, he posed the answer. And told and and to the Lord. I'm not sure how to read your name, sorry. Successor of the Messenger, page number 99, uh, page 66 in Arabic, Abu Bakr said, even which with one foot in paradise, he would still fear Allah deception. Muslims, Muhammadan, who of you agree with Abu Bakr or what uh, this gentleman he posted? Why he said so? Into un, in, unto the Lord, the Lord, the O oh Lord. Okay, so sorry for it. Into O oh the Lord. All right. Work, forgive me if I say your name wrong. I mean, I even normal names I don't know how to read them correctly. <laughs> yeah. Um. Any Muhammadan? Why Abu Bakr he said that? So when a Muhammadan he says, can anyone write a book like the book of Allah? Are we talking about the, the, the shaitan? Are we talking about deceiver, liar? So, so writing a book about what exactly? Why Abu Bakr? He have such a conclusion about his God. Any Muhammadan would like to join us? You know, guys, I receive messages in Skype of people inviting me 
uh, you know, to different places like churches to meet them, etc. I don't go. I don't go. Don't waste your time. All right. I don't even need to go and do seminars no more. I mean, you go. We go live on air. If you are interested, I can do a seminar for your church, but I don't go anywhere. It's just a waste of time and money. So if you want me to do a seminar to your church, I used to fly. You know, it's too much costly, headache, hotel, expenses. For what? We can do it online. Just get your church together and, you know, we can do it even private. There's no, nobody will see it except between me and you. I mean, your church. Uh, there is some people, they are interested. I am not. Any Muhammadan would like to join us. Because if the Quran, nobody can write like it, and then you are saying to me that you Muslims fear the deception of Allah, is that what the Quran meant? It is the book of deception and nobody can write a deception like it? Any Muhammadan? Any help, Muhammadan? Keep away from the eyes, CP. No, I don't care for the eyes. I go. I went. I did. I did seminars in the territory uh, of ISIS in the Philippines. All the city. This is the city of Marawi, where ISIS occupied. I went there and did seminar. I don't fear anybody. But this is another point. The point is, uh, you know, we struggle for some time to to make people hear us. But then, as long people they knew about you around the world already, uh, why I want to go anywhere? That's it. You have the internet, it's cheaper, easier, and uh, you do not need to spend money on me, I do not need to spend money on you, and I'm not doing any of my work for, for money, it's for free. Uh, the true Furqan. Yeah, I know about the true Furqan. Yeah. Well, there is many books actually written uh, uh, after the Quran, way better than the Quran. As an example, if you go uh, to the book, it's called Al Fusul Wal Ghayat uh, by uh, Abil Ala Al Ma'arri. If you go to the book, it's called Kanza Rabba. Kanza Rabba, uh, you know, the, the Sabian religion is way older than Islam, you know. Uh, if I go right now to Kanza Rabba, you will see the Kanza Rabba is Quran. But this is not, those people don't believe in Abraham. Actually, they believe that the Jews are people who worship uh, the, their, like the enemy, the enemy of their God. <clears throat> They believe that the Jews, they are following evil for their god Adonai, he ordered them to do circumcision. So Sabian are totally the opposite of Judaism. Yet Muhammad, he said in the Quran that uh, the Christian, the Jews, the Sabian, they will go to heaven. At that stage, Muhammad, he is just a, a salesman. Whoever he see in the way, you know, he tell him, you will go to heaven, just uh, follow me. You know? Even if you are Sabian, it's okay. I'm not against you. And everybody knows that the Sabian have nothing to do with Abraham at all. And here we go. We see Muhammadan promising Christian Jews, Sabians, who and whoever believe in Allah. And here you notice, you will see, he called them Jews. Not Jews who believe in Allah, Jews. Remember, Jews, they believe that Allah have a son, supposedly, according to Muhammad. His name is Uzair, which nowhere can be found in any book. Uh, and the Christian, they believe that the Messiah is the son of Allah, according to the Quran. But no Christian believe that Christ is son of Allah. We believe that he is son of God, not Allah. And uh, the Sabian, suddenly, they became uh, part of the promise of heaven. How? No Muslim even can answer that. 
But this one Muhammad, he was trying to make everybody follow him. Uh, you know, like uh, you know, like today we have uh, uh, the politically correct uh, agenda, and if you want to be a politician, you want to be success successful, you have to be politically correct. You cannot say anything, even if you believe in it. You know, you have to say what people like to hear. Uh, like you know, you 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 walk. Uh, you don't walk against the waves. You go with the waves. So if the waves today is sponsoring homosexuality, you support homosexuality. If it is about supporting uh, like a Black Lives Matter, you you know suddenly you are for Black Lives Matter. Even maybe you don't believe in such a thing as exists because all life matter. There is nothing God created all of us. There is nothing called Black Lives Matter is a racist statement because. What Asian life doesn't matter? Middle Eastern life doesn't matter. White people doesn't matter. So, you know, we have a very, uh, uh, you know, special kind of people who they like to be hypocrite and they don't dare to say and to voice their opinion. And Muhammad is the same. Muhammad is a person in the beginning, he was trying to be the most politically correct with everybody. Jews, Christians, whoever he see in his way, yeah, you go to heaven. But when he have his army, then he wanna kill all of them, no exception. So when he is weak, is a potato, he is peaceful. When he is strong, he go and kiss your bum. Any Muhammadan? Al Bukhari three four five three. Uh, you know, uh, I don't care for the number, uh, but I know what you are talking about. But the funny is, the Muslim they have a big uh, mosque in the top of the grave of Muhammad. There is a huge mosque in uh, in the city of Medina. It's called Al Masjidun. Uh, you know, this where the the grave of Muhammad. <laughs> so he's cursing them for their make uh, uh, a temple in the top of a mosque, a place of worship, or sorry, in the top of a grave. But this is what the Muslim do, you know, and they have actually. Uh, you know, they have tons of statement and uh, uh, Muslims approve it. There was a debate on the Christian live stream. Fakira, I think he lied about you. Who care what Fakira was said? Fakira don't lie, by the way. Fakira is a, is a, is a very decent person. <laughs> and who is the idiot he is bringing uh, Fakira to his life? <laughs> I hope it's not David Wood. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> this guy Fakira, even he said the F word to his prophet and the F word to his God, live on air in my uh, channel. So who in the world even want to have him in his channel? Why do you want to do that? He's a low class, trashy person. You lower yourself, actually. For me, you know, we used him many time, and we throw him under the uh, the bus, and that's it. We are done with him. Yeah. Oh, it was in David Wood. Uh, David Wood. He don't have a channel. He have a channel now. I thought he's he's gone from YouTube. We have a channel. I mean, what this guy, why he deleted his channel to give it to somebody if you want to come to YouTube and have, uh, I don't know, people over here. So do we have any Muhammadan? Can you show us all the, the graves of prophets buried in Mecca? There is no prophet buried in Mecca. What prophet buried in Mecca? 
Muhammad, when he died, they buried him in the same bed where he was he died, in the bed of Aisha. They did not even wash him because he stink. They did not bury him for three days. Uh, and uh, the reason for that, because he told them that we, uh, the people of the, the prophets, when we die, our body will never be decayed. All right. <clears throat> and now there is a huge mosque and there is a gate of gold around it and etc and Muhammad the grave is there Any Muhammad would like to call us. Why we cannot make a book like the Quran? We are just wasting our time. Anyone? Uh, CP that shows Jesus died according to Muhammad or where is the grave of Jesus I guys I don't know understand I don't understand the questions people they give me I mean how, how, how I'm going to understand this question if you before you send me your question try to read it again and ask yourself is he going to get ready what I'm trying to say to him that shows Jesus died according to Muhammad or where is the grave of Jesus what does that mean are you trying to say if Jesus uh, did not die he should not have a grave well the Muslims don't believe he have a grave there's no grave and actually even we Christians we believe that the tomb is empty there's no grave it's an empty tomb if you want to ask me a question make it clear so at least I can understand you. Some people, when they write a question, they 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 leave half of the question in their brain, and they write the rest in the in the comment in the in the text. Uh, any Muhammadan? Did you see our supposed building in New Kaaba? Uh, this is not in New Kaaba. I mean, the guy he built, uh, you know, people are really funny. Uh, you know, those people, the Muslims, the one who hate the royal family in Saudi Arabia, if you can call them royal, uh, whatever he say, whatever he do, they say, oh, he's building a New Kaaba. It's just a building. They're very funny, silly people. Uh, Rope Christian was saying that there is a verse in Arabic that Jesus, that says Jesus died for three days and Allah brought him back to life. Uh, there is a verse in Arabic? You, I mean, you mean in the Quran? Well, I don't, I don't see anywhere it's mentioned the three days, but... Uh, uh, the Quran says, "Inni mutawafika, warafiyuka ilayya." Chapter three, verse number fifty-five. Again, we are not going to go out of our topic, but just to answer until we get a, a customer. When Allah said, the, "This translation is false," because it says Allah, a uh, God. The Quran doesn't say God. The Quran used the word Allah. Allah is the name of the God. When Allah he says to Isa, not to Jesus, I will take thee to me. That's a false translation, just to show you how they lie. And I will rise you to me. In Arabic it says, Inni mutawafika. Inni, I, mutawafika, I'm going to cause your death. 
And here you notice why, and I keep saying always to you, you cannot learn Islam from Muslims because Muslims are professional liars. This is our boring. Let us see different translation. Hilali and Khan. Let us see if the word will change. They say, and remember, no word it says remember, and when Allah said, O Isa, I will take you and rise to myself. False translation. The word causing your death is taken off from the translation. Let us change the translator. This is Hilari and Khan. Let us see uh, Sahih International. Just to show you how they love to lie. Oh, Allah said, in the, Oh, Jesus, indeed, I will take you, I'll rise you to me. Causing your death is not there. Okay, let us see the front translation. We will keep trying. Maybe one of them, he will have decency. Sarwar. Okay, let us see Sarwar. He told Jesus, I will save you from the enemy. I raise it to myself. Look at this, save you from your enemy. <laughs> let us see Shakir. Huh, look at Shakir, guys. Look at Shakir. Shakir, he came with the movie. It's called The Terminator. So Allah, he said to Isa, I'm going to terminate uh, the period of your stay. Terminate the period of your stay. It says, uh, I'm causing your death. And now terminate the stay. Terminate your vacation, Isa. Jesus, I will terminate. <laughs> you are wanted immediately. <laughs> <laughs> let us see the front translation so this is Shakir okay let's see the front one uh, let's see uh, big child okay and when Allah said oh Jesus I'm gathering thee causing thee to ascend it into me <laughs> gathering thee why Jesus was scattered <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> uh, so, you know, the Quran, which nobody can write like it, it. I mean, it's so good to the point every Muslim gives you different translation. I mean, look, we are just saying, changing. Do you see how good this book? What, what the excuse of the Muslim, they will say, well, it's very confusing. I mean, give me a reason that they cannot even match the same sentence. We are just reading one line in the beginning. We did not read the whole verse to see how many of them they are different. We just did read the first line. And not even one of them matching the other one. Let us go to a different one. Already we're, what we show five, six translation. So this is Bikta. Let us go to uh, 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 Kara, uh, Karai. What the heck is with this name? Karai. Okay. Oh, look at this guy. This guy, this, finally, there's somebody uh, saying something. When Allah, he says, oh, Jesus, which means Isa, I shall take your soul. Do you, did you see? I mean, we flipped translation after translation after translation. Finally, one of them, he said, it's not even true translation. But it's getting closer. I will take your soul, which means I will take your life. So why all the other translation, they never mention anything about it? The answer is very simple. This verse proving that the one who wrote the Quran is an idiot. Because how you say that Jesus did not die and he went up to the heaven alive, and now you are saying, before I, before you go to heaven, I will take your life first. Try to see translation of Daraya, Daraya Abadi. Daraya Abadi. Is that his name or this is after an accident? Daraya Abadi. Okay, I see it. Recall what Allah said, uh, Oh Isa, verily I shall make thee die. Oh, that's that's good. Finally, we got one of them. 
he have little decency to say that I will cause you to die before I take you to the sky. But what that will do? That will destroy all the logic of the Muhammadan. That Jesus did not die in the cross. And they will destroy the Quran too because the Quran says in different verse that uh, Allah, he made someone look like Jesus in the cross. But here it says, before you go to heaven, first I will cause you to die. And here that's mean uh, Allah will kill Jesus, not the Jews. But look here, how many Muslim Muhammadan translation we changed in order to get one of them, he is even, you know, close to the correct translation, not even, not even true translation. This is just in the first line. And this is why when the Muhammadan, they say that the Quran is a book, nobody can write or something like it. Uh, uh, obviously, the Muhammadan, they are blind. They don't see how stupid this book is. Because if it is something good, and the Quran, Allah has made it so clear, then you have to come with a clear translation. All of you, you agree about what Allah is saying. Did Allah say he will take his life or not? All other translations saying nothing about that. Not even one of them saying, I will take your life first. And then the verse have different problem. Anyone notice? What the verse have? Anyone can notice with me what is the problem in the rest of the verse? The Amina broadcast, my friend, I saw it. Okay, later we talk about it. Say Jesus is God beside Allah. It, it, actually, it says there, they took their monks and their rabbi as God instead of Allah and Jesus. Not, you know. Anyone can tell me what is the problem with this verse? This is the book which nobody can write like it. Jesus judge in the judgment day? No, this is not the issue here. In fact, the verse says Allah will judge between. It's okay, we are done with the translation, but let us see now the second part of the verse. Do you see it says here that those who follow Jesus, those who follow Jesus, They will be victorious until the day of resurrection. So if the Muhammadan, they say that when Muhammad came, the Bible was corrupted. That means there is nobody following Jesus no more. So how the followers of Jesus, remember following Jesus, not Muhammad. Following Jesus, not Muhammad. They will be victorious until the day of resurrection. Do you see it? So the only victorious ones is the one who follow Jesus, not Muhammad. Do we have any Muhammadan? Yeah, do we have any Ustaz from Indonesia? My Skype is open. Where is the Ustad of Indonesia? Anyone? The only Ustad from Indonesia is the one who offered me uh, uh, 5 BMW. Christian Prince, I will give you a question. If you can answer it, I will give you 5 BMW. Show me in the Bible, one place where Jesus said, I'm Christian. 
I mean, this is the smartest one of between them. Jesus, he is a Christian. Christ, he said, I can you show me in the Bible where he said he's a Christian? <laughs> I don't know if you watch his video. This guy, I mean, I made him shish kebab, the idiot. Show me one verse in the Bible when Jesus says I'm Christian. I mean, and all of them, their voices, it was weird. I cannot even find one Muslim, his voice is normal. And you want to give me five BMW? What if I don't like BMW? <laughs> five, why five? I mean, what about one BMW? <laughs> Uh, I know all, all of them, they, they end dead. I give them a heart attack. Just wait. It's just a matter of time. Actually, there's a guy once in Pal Talk. He opened a chat room to curse me. So he was praying, and the Muslims in the chat room, they were repeating after him. I mean, you know, even the word I mean is a theft from us. So he was saying, may Allah destroy Christian prince and the Muslims in the chat. I mean, brother, may Allah accept your prayer. May Allah burn him. May Allah make a train go over him. May Allah give him a heart attack. And all those hateful chat room going crazy. Then I receive a text message less than 24 hours after saying to me, the guy who was praying for you, he is in the special unit, special care. He have heart attack. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> anyway, so do we have any Abdul here? Any Muhammadan? Yeah. Actually, you know, like the and the Muslims, by the way, they, they try to make names fit with the Christian prince. Like he called himself, I think, Muslim Knight. I think this was his name. And then he disappeared. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know if he died or not. But since then, psh, the guy is gone. And then uh, a few days ago, we have a Muslim. He called me. His name is Assassin Prince. Remember? Assassin Prince, he opened a channel to, de to debunk me and to assassinate my, to, uh, like, to refute me, you know, by assassination. <laughs> he left Islam himself. <laughs> All right. Any Muhammadan? How in the world we nobody can write a book like this if there is a very famous story? It's called Satanic Verses. And the story is very simple, saying that Shaitan, he wrote Quran and gave it to Muhammad. And this is something mentioned in the Quran. So how nobody can write, nobody can write a book like this. And then Shaitan himself, he gave Quran to Muhammad and Muhammad himself did not notice. I mean, do you see even how stupid the challenge is? Salman Rushdie, he wrote a book, very simple. You know, Muhammad received satanic verses where the Quran says so. He's not lying. The most time they went crazy. But it's in your book. It's in every single Muslim book. Those Muhammadan, they don't get angry until you read for them what is written in their books. The second you read it for them, they go angry. And they will say to you, you are teaching hate. And if we go in the Quran to see who can write Quran like this, what the ant can write Quran. Isn't it Allah quoting the ant, what the ant she said to Sulaiman? I mean, how stupid is, you know, have you ever heard of a God saying who can write like this and then he is quoting the ant? An ant? Hey, can you write like this? No, I cannot. The ant can. Till when they came to the value of the ants, one of the ants said, O oh, ants, enter your dwelling lest Sulaiman Salamun and his horse crush you. Okay, so who is the one making Quran now? <laughs> hey, Muslims, who is the one making the Quran? 
Allah quoting Mrs. Ant. Who is the one who said, did Allah lie when he said, the ants said? Is that a miracle? What the ants she said? Nobody can say what the ants said. And then Suleiman said, I thought nobody can make Quran. Allah is quoting the ant, quoting Suleiman, quoting the bird, the chicken. Look at this. And then he inspected the bird. This is Allah talking. So this is what Allah said, three words. And then the rest is Suleiman. He said, oh, what's matter with this bird, Hub Hub? Uh, or he is among the absence. What the heck? He's absent. But then, you know, how you can be absent, you stupid bird? Huh? Nobody can make Quran like, uh, like Allah. Hmm. This is not same as Quran. Allah has planned what is said. Ah, I see. I see. So this is not the ant saying that this is Allah. He told the ant to say it. <laughs> This is a genius Muslim trying to duct tape. You know, Muhammadan, do you know that there is a problem in the market with duct tape? We're not finding them in the shelves no more. I'm serious. But look how stupid what you just said. You just said, it is not same as Quran. Allah has planned what is said. That's mean when Allah, he said, the ant said he's a liar. Because he said, the ant said that. <laughs> read it when he say he said uh, Suleiman says that the ant says that read, let us read together hey, again hmm. so oh one of the, the ant said the ant said one of the ants say do you see it so when you say it's a plan that's I mean Allah is lying. This is not what the ant is saying, but he is here saying the ant said he's just reporting what uh, what the uh, he just caught in the uh, uh, the leader of the ants. By the way, she was like from Biden family, you know. <laughs> An ant, she said. And then, if you go and see the story behind it, you will see they say that the ant. She told the ant, so the man he he stopped the flying carpet. And you know the what, what make it funny more that so the man he was flying at that time over his flying carpet. So how he will crush them? Any Muhammadan have an idea? How he is a flying over the flying carpet with his army. And then the ant, she said to the other ants, hide, otherwise he crush you. And then if you go and read the Muslim explanation for this, you will find that the ant, she, uh, Suleiman, he questioned her. He said to her, the ant, are you saying to me I am unjust? Don't you know who I am? What do you mean I'm going to crush you? She said to him, I was afraid you would have crushed them with your beauty. Eesh. I'm sexy and you know it. The ants, when they see the beauty of Suleiman, they will be crushed. This is not about crushing them by stepping in there. They, you know, no, they would have a crush on Suleiman. Let me show you. Because Muhammad and they might say, where it says that, this is a lie. It doesn't say that, CP. Oh, what? <laughs> oh. Where is the story? Where is the story? All right, all right. I'm trying to find, uh, here we go. This is alislam.org. So don't tell me this is a Christian Prince website. I know you. 
alislam.org. The account of Sulaiman. All right. We don't want to waste our time, so we go and see what is the story about the end. What is the end? Uh, until now, we don't see it. Here we go. Suleiman passes through the valley of the ants. Miracles of Suleiman related to animals and birds. Allah says in the Quran, Muslims, what do you mean Allah says in the Quran? This is what the ant she said in the Quran. And they are showing you the verses. Now let us see what happened. Okay. Uh, Ali ibn Ibrahim have narrated that when the wind raised the throne of Ibrahim, Ibrahim, they mean Solomon by mistake, they say Ibrahim, and reach the field of ants. Look what the heck! You see, they are flying from where silver and gold comes out. Me, now we know where gold and silver is coming from, from the valley of the ant, of the ant, of the ant, from the valley of the ants. <laughs> True stories. Who can read Quran like the Quran? Nobody. Okay, brother. So you know, so when his uh, flying carpet, you know, rise up, you know, and then he's passing in the top of the valley of the end, the field where the end where silver and gold came from, like silver and gold and Democrat and Joe Biden, all of them they come from the valley of the ants. I'm, I'm telling you, okay. As the Imam Sadiq said, there was one valley of Allah where silver and gold is grown. Brother and sisters, I did not tell you. I don't grow hashish in my backyard. I grow gold and silver. <laughs> they grow. <laughs> you know, honestly, I mean, I read these stories maybe a billion times. And each time I read it, I laugh as if I'm reading it for the first time, honestly. I cannot hold myself. You feel like a child again. You, know, like, you feel like a kid. What? The silver and the gold is grown? Wow. Okay. And then he uh, has uh, he has protected it with the weakest creature like ants. You go there, the ant eat you, brother. Billions of them. So the valley is gold and silver. Allah, he grow them there. And he put the ants for guardian, you know, like uh, security guards. <laughs> and if a powerful army want to enter it, it cannot do so. Are you kidding me? You cannot go in the valley of the ants. It's guarded by the ants. Very, very powerful ants. Okay. And then uh, narrated, narrated from, 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 from. Okay. When the ant conversed with the other, the wind took their conversation to Suleiman. They are whispering, you know, talking, but you cannot, you cannot hide what you say from Suleiman. The wind, brother, took the words of the ants. And by the way, ants don't talk. Ants, they communicate by, by, by vibration and chemical only. Stupid Muhammad. Okay. At the time when uh, he was in the air, oof. So he was in the air, as you see. I, I told you. So how he will crush them? Okay, okay. Nobody can make Quran like this Quran. Suleiman asked the strong wind to stop. Stop! This is the reader break. Here you can, you know, this is the this is the flying carpet where you, every one of us, wish to have. It doesn't matter how fast he is. He heard the words. He got upset. Stop! The wind stopped and called out the ant. Like, what the heck? He called the ant by her name. How you know? I mean, there's a billion ant there. How you know which one? Ant, come here. What? So it came to Suleiman. Imagine yourself now. Put yourself in her shoes. I mean, in her eight shoes. Uh, you are in her. How many legs the ant have? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Sex, Sex, äh, Sex, äh, äh. <lacht> Anyway, so it came to Suleiman. He said, don't you know that I am a prophet of Allah? And I do not oppress anybody. No, no, the prophet of Allah don't oppress anybody. Just they rape, kidnap, kill, have sex with your children, take your money, take your land. Don't oppress anybody. Are you talking, kidding me? Yeah, he's, he was a Buddhist. <laughs> And said, yes, 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 I know, I know, I swear by Allah, you know. Suleiman said, then, why? Why did you scare others from me and order then, them, not then, to enter their holes? Look at Suleiman, man, you cannot play with this guy. I mean, this guy, he protect his reputation even against, even ants, I mean, I mean, it's not easy to be Suleiman at that time. You can hear even the ants, even the fart of your mother-in-law. If she lived 10,000 miles ago, you will hear it. That's a blessing from Allah. The ants said, I was scared. I was scared that when their vision falls on you, they will become fascinated at the beauty of the world and they will be away from Allah. The heck the ants will start getting horny when they see the beauty of Suleiman. It's not easy. It's not easy. Any Muhammadan here? So do you see now why the end she said she's lying she is not saying the truth that he will crush them but she scared them so they will not see how sexy Suleiman is and they will fail and crush their heart will be crushed you're an ant you see Suleiman driving his most fancy fire and all like flying carpet which can fit an army from here until Persia all of them in the top of the blind carpet. And Muhammad, and the Muhammadan, they say, who can write a book like the Quran? Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Nobody can write a book like the Quran. Look at this Quran. I mean, that's a true story. Flying carpet, flying horses. Suleiman, you know, investigating the ant. She was almost arrested, man. I mean, this ant, by the way, is very brave. So you are Suleiman sitting in your throne, and you have all this massive army, and there's little ant down, and he is talking to her. Can you imagine the situation? Let me see if I can find an image, present that amazing story. Oh, look, there's a video on YouTube. Look, look at the video here. I wish I can play it for you so we can die laughing, but, you know, they will flag it. Prophet Solomon and the ant. Look, he is on the horse. She is in the ground. But there's two ants there. Which one of them? <laughs> uh, so, conclusion, we have to agree with Muhammad. Nobody can go so stupid and idiot and write a book like the Quran. Who in the world want to believe in such a garbage? If I write a book like this, the Muslim would himself will, will, will laugh at me, right? Just because Muhammad, he is the one who said that, claiming that Allah said that, they make it, they call it holy. Any Muhammadan? Hello? Any Muhammadan would like to call me and try immediately to convert me? So I can have four wives, hello? 
and then I will have for mother-in-law, and I will live a misery life, and then I will jump from the balcony, hello. What a wonderful to be a Muslim, have 70 women waiting for me, when one alone is enough to kill you, hello. I mean, this guy is mentally ill. I mean, one woman, she will make you shish kebab. At least 72 women. I mean, what you would do with them? And not only that, 72, each one of them, the, the each wife, she have 70 uh, assistant. And then the 70 assistant, each one of them has 70 maid. And each one of the maid have 70 assistant maid. And then you will have going to sleep with all of them. the heck I need a sharpie machine for the <clears throat> let me drink water let me drink water I did not say anything hmm? any Mohammedan Any Muslim would like to call me and show me why I should become a Muslim and why they are saying to me, nobody can write the Quran like the Quran? Huh? Why? You? Hmm. Look, 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 look. The Jews, they killed the prophets. You ask the Muhammadan, who is the prophet they killed? They cannot give you a name. <laughs> Muhammad, Muhammad, hold on, hold on. Who is the prophet the Jews they killed? Just to show you how stupid this book, I mean, this book cannot stand its ground for a second. Look at this. Chapter 2, verse number 87. It says that the Jews, this is what they do. This is what they do. And the funny here, they are talking about Isa, supposedly Jesus. And then right away, Muhammad, he says, whenever I come to you, a messenger, with what yourself desired not, you grow arrogant. Some you disbelieved and some you killed. You ask the Muhammad, can you name for me one messenger of Allah killed by the Jews? Any Muslim can help us? Just to show you how stupid this book is. How you say that Allah saved Jesus and there is no way Allah will allow the Jews to kill Jesus and the same verse is speaking about Jesus saying the Jews killed him. Any Muhammadan? Hello? You know, guys, I'm going to change my location uh, and I'm going to make a challenge to debate Muslim ants because look like Muslim ants have more courage to, to talk. I mean, look, the ant, she spoke to Suleiman, but Muhammadan don't dare to speak to me. Any Muhammadan, he have the courage and the knowledge. Who is the Jew? Who is the prophet? The Jews they killed. It says not a prophet. Prophets, fariqan, taqtulun. You know what fariqan mean? Even in the translation, he says some you disbelieve and some you killed. Some is not one, not even two. That means there's many. Who are they? The many prophet the Jews killed. Who is a Muhammadan can tell us? Any Muhammadan? Do you see how this is why this is why we laugh at this book? This is this is a silly, stupid book. This is not a book even made for 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 humane you know consume. This is not even good for the cows.
anyone can tell us why we cannot write a book like this? Is that because it's so stupid or because it's so smart? Hmm? Anyone? Any elf one? But you know, like, there is there is some some benefit in the Quran. We have to admit, me and you. I mean, let us let us shut the door and nobody. I hope no Muslim listening and recording us now. There is some benefit in the Quran. Hmm. Do you know that if not the Quran? You will not be able to eat in your house. Thanks to Allah. Look at this genius God. He went to his bedroom. He decided to give us something priceless. So he said, okay, okay. Today I'm going to give you something to help you with your lifestyle. There is no restriction on the blind, nor any restriction on the lame, nor any restriction on the sick nor on yourself if you eat in your houses look at this smash allah who can come with this you know i was always used to feel guilty for eating in my house i prefer always to eat in the house of the neighbor <laughs> but then allah he came with this verse and now i have no excuse you know before i say there is restriction. I cannot eat in my house, you know. But then I noticed that this is not a good idea because my neighbor, he have 10 kids, and then he will say, he can, he can say the same to me. He can say, well, you know what? I cannot eat in my house too. I come to your house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then, or the house of your fathers. Oh. I mean, a blind man at that time, what did he eat in McDonald's? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, okay, okay. So if you have a problem with your leg, you know, you can eat in your house too. Okay. And then you can eat the house of your father. That's deep. And then the house of your mothers. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, or the house of your brothers too. That's deep. Or the houses of your sisters. Look, 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 it's getting the, the network is getting bigger. Or the houses of your fathers, <laughs> brothers. <laughs> what about, my friend, the amazing Quran? Just say in the house of any of your relatives, and that's it, man. <laughs> what this drama is about. Do you need to say to me, my mother, your father, my sister, your sister, your uncle, the, the, your auntie, the auntie side, the sister, auntie, the auntie of the auntie? Just say to me, you're a tribe. Any Muhammadan? We have somebody in the chat trying to take people out of the comment of, of uh, our. Uh, hmm. Let us block him. <clears throat> we have a topic. If you are willing, welcome. You are welcome here. If you are coming here to you know to join us, even if you don't agree with us, but don't. Post things have nothing to do with our topic. I will block you. Do we have any Muhammadan? The amazing Quran. Hmm? Anyone? Any half one? Any quarter one? Where is your ustaz? You are good in making videos about uh, uh, Saudi Arabia getting green? Lilidawa, he saw some rain in Saudi Arabia and there's a flush of flood. 
he made a video Allahu Akbar brothers and sisters Alhamdulillah the, the, the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad become to be true Saudi Arabia is going green and then the Saudi every week they have a prayer for rain because they have no rain it's a drought <laughs> they are dying because there's no <laughs> suddenly Saudi Arabia is going green because some rain came in the ground unbelievable Alhamdulillah chickens going green even they have a prophet his name is mr green in case you do not know do you know that why because this mr green he ate sorry he drank from the fountain of youth and then when he sit even if he sit on that in a in a, uh, in a place which is sand there's nothing or even dry grass dead grass anything even sand the sweat from his ass will make the ground underneath of him green. Who can write a book like the Quran? Hmm? Anyone can write the book like the Quran? This is what they say to us. If you go in chapter 3, 36, verse number 18, look at the miracle Allah He did for you. He who produced for you fire out of a green tree. <laughs> Who's talking? Allah. So why is he saying he? <laughs> he who? <laughs> and now those disbelievers. So now if I say to if I'm I'm speaking to an atheist, I say to him. It is he who made for you the this that will convince him that's it you you won the debate man i mean that's it they will they would that would said they will worship allah right away any muhammadan <laughs> <laughs> oh boy until now zero Mohammedan no Muslim text us no Mohammedan text us in Skype be my witness so that's it now he's the one who produced for you fire out of the green tree that's it this is where the fire coming from Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Any Muhammadan here accept the challenge to call me and show me why we cannot write a book like the Quran? When we have in Arabic thousands and thousands of books a million times better than the Quran the Quran is the most silly stupid book ever it's meanless actually totally meanless any Muhammadan Any Abdul?
Noah Abdou You know, just uh, last month, we went to uh, the Muslim Arabic channel uh, guy. This guy, he wanted to challenge an, an old man. His name is Father Zachariah. So we made a challenge. We went there, etc. Blah, blah, blah. We made video for him. The guy, he died on it. He heard nothing. He did not hear anything. He did not speak of anything. Cowards. Any Mohammedan, he would like to call us and get us busted. Nobody. Hmm. Look at those. Uh, look at those verses here. Look at this as an example here. Verily, his command when he intend a thing is only that he say be and it says <laughs> hey muslims can you name for me one thing allah he made by saying be so what this drama about he made mud of uh, uh, adam he mixed the dirt with the water with his two hands and then he fashioned him and then he left him for 40 years to dry and then after that he breathed into him so where is the word be? Any Muhammadan can tell us? Is that a fiction be? The only God we know who said be and it was is our God. He said let be light and light was. Where in your book Allah created anything by saying be? Any Muhammadan? You see all this book is stupid. And then Allah, he says, so glorify Allah, glorify to he, the one who is in his hand, everything. Allah saying that? Did you finish the translation of the Quran? No, I did not. <laughs> Yeah, Adam, when he Allah, he created him uh, first, he fashioned him as mud and then he left him for 40 years to dry, you know. And I will tell you why because if you if you finish Adam 39 years and 11 months and 30 days, Adam is still wet. <laughs> So if Allah needed 40 years to dry Adam and he fashioned him and he mixed the mud and etc. And then the shaitan go inside his mouth, came out from his anus. And then shaitan, he told the angels, hold on, this guy is nothing. He's not like Allah is empty from inside. I was inside. I just came out. <laughs> How dog created in Islam? You believe it or not, Allah have a dog. His name is Qatmir. And this dog, he uh, 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 Allah Prophet, he sent, he, you know, he said to his prophet, his cousin, Don't you fear the, the Lord of the star? His cousin, he said, I don't fear. Then Allah, he sent his dog and he ate the cousin of Muhammad. I mean, how do how this religion keeps saying that dogs are filthy, dogs are dirty, and then we find that Allah Himself have a dog. Ho ho. Okay, I don't fear the dog. I don't fear Allah neither His dog. Where is His dog? <laughs> if you go to the chapter, it's called An Najm, which means the star. Let us go here. What a madman. <clears throat> uh, I don't think I will find it in the, in the English translation, but I will try to find it in Arabic.
Let us see. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Let us try first. Uh, if we can go here in the Islamic website here. <clears throat> and see if we can find it in English. Oh, I'm typing in English and oof, 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 oof. <clears throat> here you will see in chapter 53, verse number one. And this is what is more more funny about the Quran. You will see here a story which is weird, doesn't make sense. By the star when it goes down. Actually in Arabic it says hawa, which means fail. Like he is failing so fast. Like when you fail from like high floor, or you throw something in deep well of water. So this is what how I mean. So when the star fell down, your companion, this is about Muhammad, has neither gone astray nor has erred. What is that? nor does he speak of his own desire. It's only an inspiration that inspired. Okay, what does this have to do with this? If you read the chapter to the end, you will go nut and crazy with the stupidity because here it says that Allah, he came down on a robe. The Muslim, to fix it, they say this is Jibreel. But this is cannot be Jibreel. Why? Because here it says, so he conveyed to his slaves. So if Jibreel is the one who they come down, you see how they try to fix it? So did Allah convey his inspiration to his slaves? And then they go back to Jibreel. So according to this verse, Allah, he came down on a rope. It says, Fatadalla. Tadalla. Is, is not something like coming down only. It is uh, uh, like when you put the cradle or the, the, the thing you grab the water from the water well with the rope, that is what tadalla, something coming from above, usually it's a rope, coming down, a person going down with it or the rope itself coming down or something attached to it. So, ثم دنا فتدلى Okay, who is the one, the Muslim, they try to fix it, and they lie saying, Jibreel, when there is nowhere it says Jibreel. Even the verse before it says that this person, he is the mighty in power, but this is not, cannot be Jibreel. The mighty in power, God is almighty. It says here, it is only an inspiration. So if it's Jibreel, Jibreel is not the one who make an inspiration. He is just a delivery guy. So all the story here is stupid. But the, the reason we mention this chapter, because just verse number one, if you go and read it, you will find a story behind it that Muhammad, he threatened his cousin, who don't want to believe in Islam. If you don't believe in Islam, Allah will send his dog to kill you to eat you. Let me see if we can find that in Ibn Kathir or, you know, in those Islamic website. We go here, try chapter 53, verse number one, let us see the Seer al Jalalain. Uh, there is nothing. Let us see the book of Asbab al-Nuzul, which means the reason for the verses to come down. Uh, there is nothing. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, by the way, the Muslim, they consider him a scholar. For me, he is just like a YouTuber in his time. All of them, they are potatoes. None of them is a scholar. But, you know, every time have a YouTuber. At that time, there is no YouTube. There is the right books. But he's a donkey like the rest. 
So if we go here, 53, let us see. Verse number 1. Hmm. Al-Bukhari recorded from Ab that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, Surat al-Najm was first surah in which a prostration was revealed to the Prophet. What? It's the first surah. Remember, this is the first surah was given to Muhammad. First surah. This is a contradiction, what they say in different places. And prostrated those who were with him did the same, except the old man who took a handful of soil and prostrated on it. Later on, I saw him killed as a disbeliever, as Umayya, etc., etc. says. Let us continue. If we can find the story about the dog, maybe here we will not find it. I guess we have to switch to the Arabic. Let us go to the Arabic. Always in English, Muslim they uh, hide stories. <clears throat> the same website we mentioned before, we, we showed you this one, remember? In Arabic, we can find the story in Arabic. Let me show you. And I will give you the link. So you can do the same. Just be careful to, to open the link with Google browser. So you can use Google translation because Google translation will not work unless you use Google browser. So here it says, he said to his cousin, Ama takhaf an ya'kuluka kalbullah in red, do you see it? So when you translate, I don't know if the red will stay. Let us use it. Try it. Translate in English. Here we go. Actually, coming in English in red. Still, wonderful. Aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you? <laughs> and then what happened? This guy was in a trip to Yemen. In his way, he heard the sound of a lion. Because, remember, he's a dog, but he have a voice of a lion. Because, come on, the dog of Allah is not like any dog. <laughs> and he ate him, brother. <laughs> Here it says, uh, it says, and Abi Lahab said, I thought he was, peace be upon him, said, be careful not to be eaten by the dog of Allah. <laughs> oh, boy. Can you write a Quran like the Quran? Allah coming in the rope. And he is almighty. And then Allah became Jibreel because it's so, they are so confused who is the one who coming down. And he got so closer. And then his cousin don't want to believe in Islam. So Allah, he sent his dog to eat him. Okay, why Allah don't send his dog to eat everybody don't believe in Allah? Why the dog is hated in Islam? Because dogs can smell evil, can sense evil. Obviously, Muhammad, he hated the dog because he's an evil man. Dogs go crazy when they see him. Dogs, they can, they can feel energy. We, as a human, we cannot feel. They can feel that you have fear. They can feel that you don't, you're not scared. Uh, uh, most of those animal beasts, they have their own sensation. They can even smell different smell. Like when you are in fear, you have different smell, but you never, you never notice that. This they they, they notice it. When a human being, he is now like trembling from fear. He smell different. So those animals, they have a special sensation, and this is why Muhammad he ordered to kill all the dogs. Because the dogs hate him. Not a single one like him. And then because he is very filthy racist, he claimed that the black dog is specifically is the devil. He fear black dogs. Even there is one of the, uh, the, the companion of Muhammad, 
he asked Muhammad, what's the difference between a black dog, a red dog, or, you know, he says the black dog is the devil. In Islam, anything is totally black is the devil. Bird, dog, any, any animal. Even Muhammad, he says, kulla aswadin bahim. Kill every pure black animal. The dogs, they love you because you are full of bones, not because you are special, my friend. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> they can sense you if you have eaten a dog before. Well, your companion friend is, is making shish kebab hummus uh, story up. No, they cannot smell that, my friend. If you eat something now, like as, as an example, if you eat uh, garlic, anything you eat, you, because remember, you sweat, right? When you sweat, you sweat what is in you so there those who have a special noses they can smell what you ate because it comes from your sweat for you you don't feel it you know it's not only your mouth but they can my comedian friend told me they can sense if you have eaten a dog before <laughs> My friend, your companion friend, he better stay in Cambodia. <laughs> he have a future, by the way. He might be, he might become a prophet because he's making things up. This is the like, this is the requirement to be a Muslim prophet. So he have a future, okay? Yeah. Do we have any Muhammadan? We are dry. We have a Muslim drought. Not a single Mohammedan there to call us. Man. Nobody. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. Any Muslim can explain to us why the black dog. Actually, many times Muslim they call me many, many videos. The Muslim they say, yes, the black dog is the devil. Yes, absolutely. What the heck? Just because Muhammad said so. Any Mohammedan? No? Why? What happened in these stairs? We, you guys are not doing a good job. You are not posting the video around. You are not sharing links. You are not inviting your friends. What are you for? Seriously, what are you for? I'm going to replace you, all of you. I will do the same as Allah. You know what Allah has said, Islam makes sense. If you don't commit sin and ask for forgiveness, Allah will wipe you out of existence. Have you ever heard of a sick God like this God? You should commit sin, otherwise he will destroy you. He is the devil. And actually, this hadith alone is enough to prove that Allah is Satan. Do you see it? It's in front of you. This fake God, Muhammad, he is encouraging people to commit sin and just ask for forgiveness because if you don't commit sin Allah will be so angry and he will destroy you all and he will sweep you out of existence and replace you with people who commit sin just ask for forgiveness but this is against everything we learned about the true holy God our God will not destroy us if we commit 
if we don't commit sin? Actually, so what the story of the flood of Noah then about? Because they were not committing sin or because they were committing sin? Do you see how this mad Muhammad, he contradict even the stories he copied from the Jews? He copied the flood of Noah from the Jews. He copied the judgment day from us. And now he's claiming that if you don't commit sin, this is your end. This is totally against the teaching of Christ. Be holy like your father. Go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. Muhammad is teaching his followers that you should sin as much as you can. All what is required is ask for forgiveness. And how you ask for forgiveness in a very funny way. You say subhanallah 100 times. That's it. You say a sentence in Arabic a hundred times, all your sin is gone. Do you see it? Allah Apostle said, whoever says Subhanallah wa bihamdihi in Arabic. You have to say it in Arabic. If you say so, all your sin is gone even if it is. And this is Sahih. This is Al-Bukhari. As you see. But remember, you have to say it in Arabic. You don't say it in different language. If you say it in different language, you're in trouble. Because Allah is an Arab God. No, I went to the TikTok. TikTok, they uh, they delete my video video in in less than few hours. You know all those. You know because that they flag you, and this TikTok is stupid. There is nobody even to talk to. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? <laughs> this is what, uh, this is how easy you forgive you. So now I go, I rape, I kill, I cheat, I, all of those things. And just I say, Subhani, he will be handy 100 times. That's it. Is that how easy it is? Brother, what if I say it 200 times? <laughs> Actually, I want to show you something. If we take the word 100 times, as it is, copy, and go to the search engine and paste the word 100 times, you will laugh at the stupidity of Muhammad, how he repeats things. None of them make sense. From his father, from 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 the messenger says, if any one of you glorify God hundred times in the morning, hundred times in the evening, he will be like the one who make the pyramid glaze the hundred times. Like what the heck? So we do not need to go hajj. Say one hundred time in the morning, one hundred time in the in the evening. You do not need to go to Mecca. Actually, it's better than 100 times going there. Do you see it? Crazy. Mental. This is here Daif, but this one is not Daif. 
What the heck? This one is Hassan. If you say Subhanallah wa bihamdihi 100 times, and the one who say that, كُتِبَتْ لَهُ وَعَشْرَ وَمَنْ قَالَهَا عَشْرَ كُتِبَتْ لَهُ مَاءَ What the heck? Just, just to show you the English translation, so you will laugh. You, you, this, this is stupid guy is making things. The Messenger of Allah, he said, to his companion, say glory to Allah, and with the praise, subhanallah, wa bihamdi, a hundred times, whenever you say it, one time, it's written for him, ten. Look at the cheating. So you write, you say it once, the angel of Allah, they will write, and Allah will write for you ten. You say it ten. <laughs> what the heck? You just said it once, Allah will write it ten. Then you said it ten, Allah will write it a hundred. And when you say it a hundred, Allah will write it for him a thousand. And whoever increase, Allah will increase for him because Muhammad now he do not know how to duplicate the number. He is he's not good in mathematics. What the heck is that? Subhanallah mean uh, like uh, 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 praise be to Allah. The God of the devil. The devil himself. What the heck is that? This is a religion. God is a cheater. You say it once, Allah, he write it ten. You say it ten, Allah, he make, he write it ten, uh, one hundred. Why is cheating? But and what we would do with the other hadith where he said that if you say subhan the same sentence, Allah will or, will erase your sin even if they are the form of the ocean. He changed now the statement. Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan in the bushes? He have a message for me. And he Jibreel in the bushes. He can speak to me. Even Jibreel, when he came to Muhammad, did not even say Assalamu Alaikum. He started squeezing the hell of the guy. I mean, what is this squeezing thing? Even even the the, the beginning of Islam is is a, like is a, some like a, a man is squeezing a man. He could not find a way of communication beside the squeezing. Any Muhammadan here? So now Christian Prince, he spanked Muhammad every day and he make Islam shish, fal, shish kebab falafel every day. Before he go to bed, he said, Subhanahu bihamdihi 100 times, Allah erase all his sin, even if they are more than the form of the ocean. How easy. Take it easy. Anyone? Any two? Oh boy. So yeah, you you can you can try it yourself. Just type the word one hundred in the screen here, and you will find endless stories. Muhammad he mentioned what hundred come with. You know. I seek forgiveness of Allah and repent to him one hundred times each day. Why 100 times? Muhammad telling them he seek forgiveness from Allah 100 times a day. Okay. I turn to repentance to him 100 times a day. I thought he is not a sinner. What repentance from what? Uh. Glory to Allah, praise be to Allah, and there is no God but Allah, hundred times. Oh people, repent to Allah one hundred times, but don't forget to rape your Jewish neighbor and attack the Roman to get the blondie girls. 
and why you marry a widow go and have a, a, a sex with a child and you can kill your neighbor and take his money but repent to Allah brother ethic ethic hmm. all right let us see this one this one is interesting uh, Read, read this one, guys. Read with me this one. This one will, you know, you will love it. Abu Masoud from 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 from. He said, "Are you the one who say, in one hundred year time, will be on earth, no eye that blink." <laughs> yes, brother. True. True. Is true. This is true. This is true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> true prophecy. Rather, the Messenger of Allah said, "In a one hundred year, there will be no eye that blink left on the earth of those who are alive today. Oof, oof, they're trying to fix it. In a hundred year, look, Muhammad, man, look how they look how they try to duct tape the false prophecy." The guy he said, in a hundred years from now, no eye will be blinking on this earth. They say, to fix it now, no, no, this is not what he said. He said, in a hundred years from now, no one will be alive today, will be alive then. Is that true, Muslims? Is that what he said? Hmm. Are you sure there's nobody live at that time more than a hundred year? You know, I can make a prophecy now says in a hundred thirty years from now, nobody is alive today will be alive then. <laughs> what a stupid religion, man. Any Muhammadan? Blink, blink. Blink. Muhammad, he always is stuck with numbers. As an example, 70. Seven. Three. Like, if you go right now, just to show you, and type in the search engine three times. See, the Muslim, they're saying that we Christians, we are the one who fought Trinity, right? But in fact, Islam is the one religion or fact. It's a cult based on number three. Number three, the three musketeers, Muhammad, Jibreel, Allah. If one of them is missing, there's no Islam. Everything in Islam is a three time. If Muhammad, he says something, look. Uh, Allah Messenger like to, uh, to supplicate three times. And ask burden of Allah three times. But remember, in the previous hadith, he said 100 times. Now it's three times. Uh, it was narrated from Ali that he washed his hands three times, raised his nose three, nose three times, and washed his face three times, and said, The wudu of Allah Messenger. The Prophet performed wudu three times for each limb. Hmm. Three time. Look, everything is three time. Three time. Uh, hmm. Three time. I just typed the word three time. That's all. I did not do anything. The whole religion is based on three time. Even when a Muslim he will take an oath, he have to do it three times. You ask them why three times, they say this is the number of perfection. Allah will not accept unless you do it three times. Well, if this is the number of perfection, that perfection of God is the most perfection because God is perfect. So if Allah don't accept perfection unless with number three, that means God himself, he have something to do with number three. Correct, guys? Why your God Muslims, he is stuck with number three. Perfection, no problem. 
And not only that, Muhammad was mentally ill. Muhammad, he would repeat the same word three times. And the Muslim, they say here, so it can be understood. So let's try it. Today, I went, I went, I went to the market, 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 and I saw, I saw, I saw there, 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 a chicken, 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 not a duck, not a duck, not a duck, because you are so slow, 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 slow. I have to repeat, 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 three times, three times, three times, so you can understood, understood, and what the heck is that? You cannot even understand. Okay, what about repeated for? If the people are, if the Mohammedan in his time, they are so slow, and this is very normal, even now, we understand. But repeat three times, what is the proof that that will work? What about we repeat it four times? Why three times? Three times. And imagine Muhammad making a speech and repeating everything he said three times. Abu Salam said, then the authority of a man who served Holy Prophet S.A.W. three times, that, that whenever he talked, he repeated three times. Do you see it? Mentally ill. That's not normal. Uh, be aware the extremist British saying it three times. There you go. This is about the penis. Oh, this is about what? You see the translation here. They are sowing nostrils. This is false. This is about the penis, not about the, the yeah. Uh, let me show you about the penis. Even the penis, you have to shake it three times. And I understand this one that Muhammad he afraid that his penis is very fragile and if he shake it for time it maybe it come out or something. So there is an excuse for that. It's understood. The Messenger of Allah said when any of you urinate <coughs> stop looking at tafsir and hadith just focus in the Quran alone you won't find anything. Okay, I agree with you. I will not find anything. Exactly. <laughs> I like it when a Muslim, he tried to defend his cult. You will not find anything. Exactly. The Quran, there is nothing. Where in the Quran it says how to pray? Where in the Quran it says how to fast? Where in the Quran it says how to, to do ablution? Where in the Quran it says how to divorce? Where in the Quran it says how to beat your wife? Where in the Quran it says uh, shake it three times? Where in the Quran? There's empty. There's nothing in the Quran. The Quran is about flying carpet of Suleiman. And you know, anyway, you will find anything. You will not find anything exactly. You know, we will find that the blood, the sperm coming from the black, the backbone of the man. And <clears throat> yeah, let us focus on this one because it's very important, by the way. It can help you with your lifestyle. Imagine. <clears throat> Like we go as a bunch of team. Let us say we are a football team, 12 of us, and we go to the bathroom. And there's many men there. And then all of us, we urinate, and then we start shaking it three times. All of us, chuk, 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 chuk. And then we are done. And we, man, we will be so famous in tech talk. The 12 team, football team, they are shaking it three times. Chick chuk. Chick chuck, chick chuck, boom, they are done. Perfect. What the heck with this? Any Muhammadan have an idea why three time? What about four? Hmm. What will happen if we do it five? Just a question. <laughs> what, a, what a stupid religion. <laughs> uh, 
Oh boy. Look at this, look at this. Hmm. The Messenger of Allah mentioned the fire and he turned his face away as seen it ugh, mental and sought refuge with Allah. He took refuge by Allah. One of the narrators, uh, uh, Sharba said, he did that three times. Then he said, protect yourself from the fire even with half a date. Oh boy. <laughs> no comment. Oh boy. This is all number three. Hmm. Three time. Hmm. Three time. Look at this one. He recited Surah Al Fatiha over him for three days, morning and evening. Whenever he finished it, he collected some of his saliva and spit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Muhammad, what's going? What's going on? What? 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 Is saliva spat it? What? What does that mean? Don't involve your things with saliva now, okay? There you go. Three the fasting three days. Uh, three time, three time, three time, three time, three time. Hold on, hold on. Read this one with me. This is something fishy. Uh, <clears throat> the measure of Allah draw aside the curtain and his head was bandaged on account of illness in which he died. Do you see how horrible the death of Muhammad? You see, guys, look at this. Anyone remember the guy who claimed to be the Messiah in uh, in India? Ahmad Mirza Ghulam? The Ahmadiyya founder? Ahmad Mirza Ghulam come back he claimed to be the Messiah and he is now so at that time when he was alive he is the Messiah who is in India then the Christians in India they came to his house and they brought in front of his house like 50 60 uh, people who they are ill People cannot walk, people cannot talk, people they cannot, you know, they have this ability. And they said to him, okay, if you are the Messiah, do what the Messiah can do. That's it. Aren't you claiming to be the Messiah? This guy, he claimed that he was Mary for three years and then he became Jesus, which just makes sense. <laughs> As an example, Joe Biden, he was his wife for four years, and then he became Joe. <laughs> and later this guy, he died from cholera, which caused him serious diarrhea, and he died, and actually he fell over his shit. They have the, 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 the place where he pooped next to his bed. He fell from the bed over his shit. This is how he died, yet he claimed to be the Messiah. But this is Muhammad, the same. Muhammad, he claimed to be the messenger of God, sent by God, remember. But how Muhammad, he died? Look at this guy. 
Muhammad, when he died, he looked really funny and looked horrible. He even tied his head with a curtain. Do you see it? He is suffering badly and he tied his head with the curtain because of the pain. And he said, Oh Allah, have I not deli delivered the message? He repeated that three times. Nothing has been left out of the glad tiding Apostle, uh, 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 Apostle Bud, but good vision would by his servant of Allah. Sees or someone else may see him, to see him. Then he narrated like the hadith, etc. Muhammad is asking Allah, didn't I do? Why this is happening to me? Muslims, why Muhammad, his head is tied up by a curtain, and this is when he died. How horrible his death was, and how much pain he has. Any Muhammadan? No Muhammadan today. No luck. See, when somebody claim to be the best of what he called them prophet, and he claimed that he is way better than the Messiah, he is the most beloved to his God, then look who is he and how he died. The Messiah, people, they just touch his clothing and they are healed totally healed the blind man he said to the Messiah he said Lord I want to see he did not ask him for a sandwich he did not ask him for food or money or shelter. Did you ask yourself why he asked him such an impossible request? I want to see. Because yes, he is a blind, but he can see in his heart that this is the Lord. And he is the one who can make the blind see. He is the Lord who can make the dead come from the grave. So while Muhammad was tying his head with the curtain and he cannot move, even there is tons of hadith about him. They drag him with his feet. He is so fat. He is so, you know, big ass and they cannot carry him. They drag him. He can't stand. He can't go to the bathroom. Where was Allah? Did Allah cause the death of Muhammad in such a way? So my friends, when the Bible says, and when the Lord himself, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. That goes to everybody. And let me explain to you. Let me first put the verse in the, in the screen. Give me a second. <clears throat> All right. 
right? You see, always when somebody come to you to deceive you, seek refuge by the word of God and God himself. From their fruits, you shall know them. What a fruit. Let us try to make it zoom more so people can read it better. Hold on. I'm trying just to find a website where we can find the text more clear. Okay, maybe now. Let us see. From their fruits you shall know them. This is not just only about you and me. This is about everybody. Be aware of false prophet, Matthew chapter 7, verse 15, which come to you in a sheep clothing, but the truth is they are wolves. How you will know the false prophet, the false teacher, the false Christian, the false believers, the false men, the false women? You shall know them from their fruits. And the fruit is not about trees now. So don't make anyone, don't let anyone fool you. The one who worship money, he will seek your money. He will use you. The one who don't love you, he will take from you. He will never give. The one who don't care, he will be selfish. The one who is a false man, he act as a false tree. He speak good, he do bad. Or maybe both. He do bad in both. And that goes for even those who call themselves prophets. So Muhammad spoke about himself. He is a prophet of God. But look who is he. He is a child molester, a rapist, a criminal, a thief. Even his own son, he went to the, to the wife when the wife is alone. And he flirted with the wife and then he took her to his bed. The Bible, my friend, is not a Christian prince who can guide you to the truth. The truth will set you free. And that is Jesus. Jesus said, I am the truth. And then the funny Muhammad, and they say, where Jesus says, I'm God. If you go to the Quran, you will find that the funny Muhammad, he stole the name of Jesus, which is the truth, and he gave it to his God. Jesus says, I am the resurrection. Muhammad, he called himself the Resurrector, called his God. I am the life. Muhammad, he called his God the life. All the names of Jesus is stolen and given to Muhammad, God and Muhammad. But we don't follow Jesus because he said, I am the life. Jesus gave life and he proved it. Not only he gave life to dead people, but he himself overcome death and he come back alive. From their fruits, you shall know them. And from the fruit of Jesus, you will know Jesus. Be careful with false teachers. Those who want to teach you that it's okay to be a homosexual. It's okay to be a sinner. It's okay to do wrong. It's okay to disobey God. They are lying to you, my friend. The Bible is so clear. And only false men, who they are perfectly correct, they say what is not in the book. What the Bible says, let him be cursed, the one who bring other scriptures other than this. So all those men and women who come falsely 
claiming to be Christians and bishops, saying it's okay. They are liars. Remember, when God, he punished Adam, he punished him for what? The story is very simple. Just to make us understand that sin is sin. He disobeyed God. He ate a fruit. He did not even kill. He did not even steal. He did not even lie. He did not rape. He was not homosexual. I mean, there's only one man, anyway. He just disobeyed God for eating a fruit from a tree. He'd been forbidden to eat from it. And he lost salvation. So don't make them fool you and say to you, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And the excuse is that God loves everyone. My friend, God love you. That's why he sent you Jesus, the Father. He sent the Son. So he can save you. This is what God love you mean. God love you doesn't mean you go and live as Satan. Doesn't mean you go and be a rapist, a thief, a liar, a scammer. When the Bible says that Jesus came, he said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. He just called you sick. But he did not want you to stay sick. So if they say to you, stay sick, don't worry about it. They are not speaking what Jesus said. There's many cowards don't dare to say words of what we say. Because they worship their money, their business. And they have a career of lying. For us, we have to be always a truth for wrong is wrong, right is right, good is good, and only God is good. So stay careful with what teachers they say to you. Many of them, they are liars. And Muhammad is one of the biggest liars in history. So we don't hate the Muslims. That's why we say Jesus said, I came for the sick. The sick need help. But it doesn't mean you love Muslims by giving them hugs. This is not how you love people who need help. It's not by hugs and lying to them and say you are okay. It's by saying the truth to them so they can be aware and awake again. If your son taking drugs, you don't say to him, I love you, so it's okay. Drugs will cause death. If you love a person, you scream in his face, so he will not go to hell. And time will come, and you will be questioned for not hearing the words not my words the word of the messiah i hope that today we learn something good and as you see not a single muhammadan dare to call i have my skype is open until now and zero muhammadan dare to call I remember once a Muhammadan he said to me, why you believe in Jesus? I said, if you find me a better person to believe in, let me know. He did not even dare to say Muhammad because he knew. <laughs> I just made a challenge for him. If you come find me a better person than the Messiah to follow, let me know. He went silence. He knew that Muhammad is filthy. He knew that he is sick.
So you who have Jesus in your life, you have the treasure of life. And you who follow Muhammad, you just bought your death and hell certificate. You better be aware, you better repent before it is too late. We warned you, we told you, and time will come and you have no excuse in the front of the Lord, the judge of judges. The Messiah, he says, the Father gave me the judgment over the flesh. And the Messiah will judge you in the day of judgment. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do his will. And what his will? Is to follow the Messiah and to believe in the Messiah and to take him as your Lord and your Savior. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. Feel free to download my video, share them with your friends. And I hope next time we will get more brave Muhammadan to call us. Today we get zero. But maybe, you never know. Things happen. Maybe they will get brave. Take care. God bless. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. See you again.